Welcome to our historical exploration as we unveil the compelling stories of five queens who made their mark on the world. These women, ruling across different centuries and regions, broke through the constraints of their times to emerge as powerful figures. In this journey, we'll uncover the extraordinary lives of Queen Elizabeth I of England, Catherine the Great of Russia, Hatshepsut of Egypt, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom, and Empress Wu Zetian of China. Each of these queens not only led their nations but also crafted legacies that have stood the test of time. Born in the heart of England's tumultuous Tudor era in 1533, Queen Elizabeth I's story is one of resilience and shrewd governance. As the daughter of King Henry VIII and his ill-fated second wife, Anne Boleyn, Elizabeth's early life was steeped in political intrigue and personal tragedy. Her mother's execution and her subsequent illegitimization marked a childhood overshadowed by the volatile nature of Tudor politics. Despite these harrowing beginnings and her imprisonment during the reign of her half-sister, Mary I, Elizabeth ascended to the throne in 1558. She inherited a kingdom fraught with religious division and financial instability. Her reign was a turning point as she skillfully navigated these challenges. A key achievement was the establishment of the Protestant Church of England, which played a crucial role in defining the religious identity of the nation. Her reign saw a significant victory in 1588 when the English Navy defeated the Spanish Armada, thwarting Spain's attempt at invasion. This victory was not just a military triumph, but also a symbol of England's rising power and Elizabeth's formidable leadership. The Elizabethan era, named in her honor, was a time of cultural renaissance. It witnessed the flourishing of the arts, most notably the works of William Shakespeare, and advancements in exploration, exemplified by Sir Francis Drake's circumnavigation of the globe. Elizabeth's patronage of the arts and exploration contributed significantly to the expansion of England's influence and the dissemination of its culture. Notably, Elizabeth chose never to marry, a decision that earned her the title the Virgin Queen. This decision was both a personal and political strategy, allowing her to maintain autonomy and keep the kingdom free from foreign influence through marriage alliances. Queen Elizabeth I, often celebrated as one of the greatest in English history, was marked by her remarkable ability to maintain stability and prosperity in a period of religious and political upheaval. Catherine the Great, born in 1729 as a German princess named Sophie of anhalt zerbst ascended to become one of Russia's most remarkable and influential rulers. Her journey to power was unconventional and marked by a series of significant events that reshaped the course of Russian history. Married to Peter III of Russia, Catherine initially found herself in a challenging situation. Peter III's rule was deeply unpopular, and his erratic behavior and indifference to governance created a turbulent atmosphere within the Russian court. Catherine, however, possessed intelligence, ambition, and a keen understanding of politics that would eventually lead her to seize the throne. In 1762, Catherine orchestrated a coup d'etat that would change the course of her life and the destiny of Russia. With the support of the Russian military and the nobility, she overthrew her husband, Peter III, and assumed the role of Empress of Russia. This audacious move marked the beginning of her transformative reign. Catherine's rule was characterized by a dedication to modernization and expansion. She implemented a series of administrative reforms aimed at streamlining the bureaucracy and improving the efficiency of the government. Embracing Western ideas and Enlightenment philosophy, she positioned Russia as a cultural hub in Europe. Catherine corresponded with prominent philosophers of the Enlightenment, including Voltaire and Diderot, and she sought to reform Russian laws and education, laying the foundation for a more enlightened and progressive society. Hatshepsut, a remarkable figure in ancient Egyptian history, reigned as one of the most successful pharaohs, defying conventions and leaving an enduring legacy. Born in the early 15th century BCE, she rose to power in a society dominated by men, challenging the norms of her time. Hatshepsut's ascent to the throne was a testament to her determination and political acumen. Initially serving as the regent for her young stepson, Thutmose III, she soon assumed the title of pharaoh, effectively becoming Egypt's ruler. Her reign spanned over two decades, during which she implemented a series of ambitious initiatives that reshaped the Egyptian kingdom. One of Hatshepsut's most notable achievements was her successful military campaigns in the neighboring lands of Nubia and Punt. 
These campaigns not only expanded Egypt's territory, but also established lucrative trade routes that brought wealth and exotic goods to the kingdom. Her leadership in these endeavors showcased her prowess as a capable strategist and diplomat. What set Hatshepsut apart from her predecessors was her unique portrayal in traditional male pharaoh regalia in statues and carvings. This bold move solidified her position as a ruler in a male-dominated world and conveyed her unwavering commitment to her role as Egypt's pharaoh. Her statues and inscriptions depicted her as a powerful leader, often with the false beard and kilt worn by male pharaohs. Despite her undeniable successes, attempts were made to erase Hatshepsut from history after her death. Some of her monuments and inscriptions were defaced or destroyed by later pharaohs, likely due to political rivalries and efforts to rewrite the historical narrative. However, the resilience of history prevailed, and today, Hatshepsut is remembered as one of the most accomplished and revered pharaohs in ancient Egyptian history. Queen Victoria, born in 1819, ascended to the British throne at the remarkably young age of 18. Her reign, which endured for an astounding 63 years until her passing in 1901, remains the longest of any British monarch up to that time. This period, aptly named the Victorian era in her honor, witnessed profound transformations in British society, industry, and global influence. The Victorian era was characterized by a whirlwind of change, and Queen Victoria played a pivotal role in shaping this tumultuous period. Her reign coincided with the height of the Industrial Revolution, a time of unprecedented technological innovation and economic expansion. As factories sprang up across Britain, the nation became an industrial powerhouse. Advances in manufacturing, transportation, and communication revolutionized daily life, contributing to both prosperity and challenges for the people. Yet, Queen Victoria's impact extended far beyond the realm of politics and industry. Her marriage to Prince Albert, a union based on love and partnership, set a compelling example for Victorian society. The royal couple's portrayal of a moral, family-oriented life deeply influenced British and Western societal norms. They championed values of family, duty, and responsibility, setting a tone that resonated throughout society. During Queen Victoria's rule, Britain also experienced significant political reforms, including the expansion of voting rights and the strengthening of constitutional monarchy. The British Empire, under her guidance, reached its zenith, becoming the largest empire in history. The empire spanned continents, encompassing territories in Asia, Africa, the Americas, and the Pacific. This vast dominion marked Britain as a global superpower, with Queen Victoria as its symbolic figurehead. Queen Victoria's reign was a time of contradictions, with progress and challenges intertwined. Her enduring legacy is that of an iconic figure in British history, whose era defined an epoch of remarkable change. The impact of her reign continues to be felt, shaping the modern world and leaving an indelible mark on the history of the United Kingdom and the British Empire. Empress Wu Zetian's life story is a testament to her remarkable rise from humble beginnings to becoming the only woman in Chinese history to declare herself emperor. Born in 625, she faced the immense challenges of a patriarchal society in ancient China, where women were often marginalized and confined to traditional roles. Wu Zetian's ascent to power was a saga of cunning, intelligence, and determination. Starting as a concubine, she navigated the treacherous political landscape of the Tang Dynasty with skill and ambition. Her journey culminated in her proclamation as emperor in 690, marking a historic moment that shattered gender norms and redefined the boundaries of power in China. During her reign, Empress Wu Zetian displayed a formidable capacity for effective governance, albeit sometimes employing ruthless methods to maintain control. She implemented policies that strengthened the central government, expanded the empire's borders, and promoted talented individuals based on their abilities rather than their social status. This commitment to meritocracy was a groundbreaking departure from traditional practices and contributed to a more efficient and prosperous Chinese state. Despite the controversies surrounding her rule, Wu Zetian's era saw relative stability and cultural flourishing. Her patronage of the arts and support for scholars and intellectuals fostered a climate of creativity and innovation. This cultural renaissance left an everlasting mark on Chinese history, contributing to the nation's rich artistic and intellectual heritage. 
To conclude, the remarkable tales of Elizabeth Thurse, Catherine the Great, Hatshepsut, Queen Victoria, and Wu Zetian showcase more than just royal leadership. They represent groundbreaking strides in a world often dominated by men. These queens didn't just rule, they transformed their realms and laid down paths for future generations of women leaders. Their enduring stories continue to inspire and teach us about the power and potential of determined leadership.